As part of uh, the social exchange, Peter M. Blau uh, looked at different principles, uh, basic principles of uh, exchange. And one of the principle or one of the basis uh, uh, has been suggested as uh, rationality. So rationality is a uh, uh, logic uh, which emerges on the basis of uh, the outcome of the exchange. And this rationality uh, implies the profit people expect from one another in emitting a particular activity, the more likely they are to emit that activity. So the rationality logic is that since uh, for the first time there was interaction, some interaction has taken place, and it has been rewarding, satisfactory to both the parties, then they uh, try to repeat that kind of situation, repeat the interaction, because they assume that this interaction uh, helps in the satisfaction of uh, their needs. So uh, this could be considered as a utilitarian kind of uh, approach. And this utilitarian approach is based on, on uh, let's say, reasoning, uh, logic, or rationality for its emergence or for its continuation. Then on the basis of this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, attraction or uh, utilitarian kind of, uh, let us say, uh, approach or uh, uh, these uh, uh, satisfaction of the needs, we see that there is uh, another principle which is called reciprocity uh, principle. And in this, uh, it can be, let us say, uh, proposed that the more people have exchanged rewards with one another, the more likely are reciprocal obligations to emerge and guide subsequent exchanges among these people. So if, uh, if the first interaction has been uh, utilitarian, uh, it has been rewarding, then uh, the assumption is that that kind of interaction is to be repeated because uh, both the parties consider that it is uh, helpful, it's uh, useful, it's satisfying. Therefore, they will try to uh, enter into the continuity uh, continuation of uh, this reciprocity or this, uh, this uh, exchange relations. So this might be uh, simply based on, uh, let's say, attraction, because uh, the interaction is rewarding. So that reward makes these two parties uh, or two entities uh, uh, to be uh, continuing in the interaction. So it is uh, more like social att attraction. Now, when I am using the word one person and another person. It could be a group of persons, another group of persons, two persons interacting, with another, another two persons. No, it is uh, uh, just for the sake of example. We also see that the more the reciprocal obligations of an exchange relationship are violated, the more disposed the deprived parties are to sanction negatively those violating the norms of reciprocity. So reciprocity implies uh, that the other party is going to respond to the action of the first party, and that this uh, action, this response in action is going to be, let's say, satisfying to the other party. Now, this is uh, an exchange. If one party thinks that its response is uh, not adequate, uh, it is not um, uh, getting the expected reward, then person feels a little upset might uh, think in terms of, uh, let's say, uh, deprivation. Uh, that is, he was expecting some response from the other party, and this person is uh, uh, being deprived of the response, and therefore he might give uh, a different kind of uh, reaction. Because uh, his, uh, his, uh, his uh, let's say, action toward that party 
uh, has not been adequately rewarding. And uh, this reward is not there simply because the other party has not come up to the expectation of the first party. And therefore, there can be some kind of imbalance. And imbalance uh, is uh, uh, the, the interacting parties are reacting towards this imbalance. And particularly when somebody considers that uh, the reward is not satisfying to that person, he or she is going to react negatively uh, against the first party. So that is how it can lead to some kind of, uh, let's say, conflict if the recipro reciprocity is uh, not there.